I'm here at the New York Auto Show with Kevin Hunter from Toyota's Calty Design Center, and he's going to walk us through Toyota's newest concept, the FT4X, the little crossover that you see behind us. Kevin, this is a little bit different. It has some design cues from other off-road models from Toyota, like the FJ Cruiser, but you're saying it's a little bit of a different goal with this one. Well, our goal is really more light-duty off-roading. Uh, we're targeting uh, millennials who live in the city, but they love getting into the outdoors with their friends and family, doing camping, hiking, light duty activity. But they need a small vehicle so they can still park it in the city and it be affordable. Totally. Compact uh, parking situation is really a necessity, so this is built on our new C platform. This is the TNGA platform used for the CHR, the Prius, the Corolla. Correct. So Kevin, talk me through a little bit some of the design inspiration on the front end of this concept. Well, the front end is really inspired by the original FJ40 and the FJ Cruiser. Kind of the white mask, the white face, but we wrapped it around the sides and made a really strong uh, component design out of it. And we're also introducing the Toyota lettering, kind of an old school homage to the old, older pickup trucks, the SR5s and Hiluxes back in the day. Cool. There's definitely a little ruggedness as well with these tie-down hooks here, and you have some more on the roof? We have tie-down hooks everywhere, front, rear, up on the roof, so imagine carrying around a kayak or a paddleboard or something, easy to tie down, front or side on the roof. And the body theme is actually built on, an, we call it an X theme, so it's widest at the passenger zone, and we think that offers a protective image. For the, for the user, solid, protective. And then the, the body moves inboard as it goes front to rear, and then if the wheel flares pop out, so it looks rugged and capable. And a little bit of capability and durability for some light off-roading? Oh yeah, this, that's the point. So we've said that we've imagined this with a mechanical four-wheel drive, so that will enable some light duty uh, work. So maybe not rock crawling, but at least getting down a dusty trail to a campsite. Exactly. Kevin, one of the things I was really intrigued by was the unique door design on the back of the concept. There's two different ways to open it. So we open it this way. We call this the outdoor mode. Okay. And what it does is creates a little bit of shelter. If you want to sit down here and relax, you can do that. And you're protected from the snow and rain. This is almost my tailgating mode, essentially. Yeah, tailgating mode. Okay. And then uh, what's also cool is that um, this hinges up, and this is your storage for wet gear and dirty gear, your wetsuit, dirty boots, whatever, you just toss them in there. So if I go kayaking and all my clothes are soaked, dump them there and there set them on the go. carpet. Close them, up, close them up and they're nice. And then this can fold out too for a little bit extended tailgating as well. You can sit on this okay, and also have access. But I think the cool thing is there's a lot of room back here actually. The idea is to sit back here and um, you know enjoy being outside. And what's the other mode for this door? So the other mode is what we call urban mode. And that is a more of a traditional opening. Right. So I'm thinking is maybe a little bit more compact in some tight areas. And uh, maybe just want to open one door to toss something in all so you don't need to manage a big door. So uh, Again, it sounds like you're thinking of that urban customer who might be in a really cramped parking lot. And totally. Let's take a look at some of the things you put on the inside of this car. So Kevin, on the inside you've got a lot of parts that you seem to be able to pull out of it. I noticed for starters these door handles are removable water bottles. Yeah, these are dual use, so it's also a water, bo water bottle and a door pull. You can remove them and, and put them back. Seems um, to make sense if you're off camping in this vehicle. It's awesome to be and, able to have that. And then between the seats there's a sleeping bag from the North Face. Yeah, so we have the North Face sleeping bag there that's nice and compact. Double use as an armrest, and it's always in the vehicle, ready to go whenever you need it. That makes sense. There's no built-in navigation system in this car, and then instead you have a smartphone dock ahead of the steering wheel. What's kind of the reasoning for that? Well, the advantage of this is we're always using our phones for navigation, especially. So why not put it right in the meter area, up by the cowl, where you can see it easily. It's safer, more convenient. But also we're imagining some new apps that could integrate with the vehicle system as well. And then there's also an audio system that you can pull out of this car as well when you get to your campsite or hike inside. Yeah, so you can remove this audio unit here, plug your phone into it, it's battery charged, so all the orange areas that you see are open storage and all the gray areas are closed storage and it's very easy to understand. Even the vents, you know, we can rotate the vents up or down, so let's say you had wet gloves or a wet hat from snowboarding, you just pop them in that open storage area, dial the vent down and you can dry them or, you know, whatever you need to do. Awesome. Kevin, thanks so much for taking some time to walk us around the car, I really appreciate it. 
I have to ask, what's the likelihood that we're going to see something like the FT4X concepts in showrooms? Well, right now it's a study. We're going to gauge the reaction here at the New York Auto Show and uh, see how it goes. We have a good track record, though, of getting concept cars built, FT Cruiser, LFLC. So you never know what can happen. And uh, the cool thing is all the hardware, the platform is it is good, so uh, it is doable. So I'll be crossing my fingers then. Thank you so much you for go. your time. Thanks I appreciate a lot. it. Thank you.